Hello guys, I'm so sorry my weekly video was not able to upload completely. I don't know what happened. I got a call in the middle of my recording for the weekly from December 9th through the 15th. So that's why I had to um, delete it. So sorry about that. Um, so the famous weekly, you know, reading um, that I went really in depth in is not uh, available right now. So we are going to try again. So I, I always take things as they come. When these sort of things happen, I feel like maybe the messages were not meant to be um, channeled just yet. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it as a as it was not meant to be to come out. So. It was a really long video, 31 minutes. However, it just does not want to upload completely. It just wants to upload four minutes of it. So I'm going to go ahead and try again because that's what we do. Okay, there is another video that I will be uploading about the astrology. So what's going on uh, in the stars, basically. There will be a full moon in Gemini, and this full moon in Gemini will be interacting with Venus and Saturn. So please check that out. Venus and Saturn uh, here are going to be testing relationships. I'm not feeling those cards. Testing relationships. How? We'll check out that video, guys. All right? I go in depth about it. Okay, I've just wasted so much time trying to figure things out. But anyway, such is life. Okay, so beginning of the week, what can my collective, yeah, can my collective um, expect? Okay, collective, let's get one more. I'm using here the um, Mystic New Moon Oracle cards. Okay, so. Um, we pulled out first here. Um, there's always a notification. I hope that doesn't cut my video. So pause. Some of you are starting from a place of surrender and you're taking a break. You're taking a time out this week, this uh, beginning of the week, which feels nice because last week was kind of hell for a lot of people, for myself as well. Um, Something that might have started in the summertime. Maybe you were going through some challenges or some type of situation that was um, triggered, that started in the summertime. I feel like you're taking a break from this and some of you are wondering if this is the right thing to do. You're letting go of something. You're taking a pause. You're taking a step back probably from a person or a relationship. And you're wondering, is this what I should be doing? The answer is yes. Okay. Is this normal what I'm feeling? Yes. We went through a lot of intense energies in the summertime, guys. And we had a lot of eclipses. And so it is important to really trust those feelings. Now, you're dealing with someone who is unawakened, who's completely shut down from themselves, from their soul, from their spirit. They're shut down about um, what it is that they need to look at, to face, okay? So, let me get some tarot cards in for the beginning of the week. Okay, so we're dealing with the Five of Wands energy. You might be dealing with someone who is going through some struggles. Struggles within themselves, I'm getting. Okay, I'm going to pull out another card. Yeah, I feel like some type of disconnect. What is this Five of Wands about? Yeah. Someone is... And we. it's funny because we got the same cards. Well, this is, we got the Hermit card in the beginning of the week in my previous recording. So great, we're on track. So thinking about soul searching, because it's all be beginning to be too much. We're not seeing eye to eye here. There's some type of struggle within ourselves or within, you know, themselves. I don't know. This is going to be different for everybody. It feels like someone here is going to be taking a break, a timeout, because there's just so much going on. 
oppose the oppositional energy is it's fighting conflicts um, not seeing eye to eye here is what the five of wands is about so the hermit is someone here that needs to take time out to go within it's an introspective type of an energy where you're really thinking about this and you're reflecting and you're trying to find the answers um three of pentacles about building with someone three of pentacles speaks of contracts speaks of um collaborating cooperating building okay but someone here is also thinking about um should i write them that message should i write a message to them about how i'm feeling about what's going on inside because there's some conflictual energy here from the very beginning and it's and it's really forcing you or this person to go within themselves to really shut down okay let's get one more for the beginning of the week what can my collective expect yeah, we got the Queen of Pentacles too in the other uh, recording that was not able to upload. So Queen of Pentacles, this might be you collective. Or it might be about a Queen of Pentacles. Can't, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like you're just taking a step back. You're doing some soul searching. You're taking a pause, surrendering, uh, and focusing on your finances focusing on your job focusing on the home you are finding some self-worth this week okay focusing on you on your abundance yeah someone might be watching you okay page of swords we're dealing with an energy of a person who is watching okay so they might not be able to communicate directly they are watching you yeah, they want to communicate, though. And we did get the Ace of Swords in my previous recording. So, all right, great. Um, okay, so give me some messages, please, Spirit. What does my collective need to know for the middle of the week? What messages, what energy wants to come out for the middle of the week? Okay, so we got the Nine of Wands. Sorry about the glare. I have a lamp here. So the Nine of Wands might be you. If you're a female, this might be you being a little bit defensive. And uh, this card tells me that you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot of trials and tribulations. You've been through a lot of challenges, but you're not going to back down. This, You see this card? Usually the Nine of Wands is someone who is afraid but I feel like you are protecting yourself, though. In the middle of the week, you feel a little bit protective over maybe um, how you feel. Because remember, we're, go we're walking into a full moon. Full moon really speaks of uh, emotions, okay? Emotions coming to the surface. So we might feel like our emotions are all stirred up. So here there is trying... Here, all in divine timing, right? With the temperance card, Sagittarius energy... I feel like you're not giving up the fight. You will be protecting yourself. You're trying to just balance your emotions at this point. You're not going to give up, but there's some type of balancing and readjustment. Oh God, this glare is awful. So there's some type of readjust readjustment That has to be made and this is this can also happen behind the scenes so in the spirit world something is readjusting itself for you behind the scenes let's get one more what other messages want to come out for the middle of the week yeah you might be dealing with a libra okay let me get one more card here so the libra speaking of here if you're not dealing with a libra maybe you're the libra King of Swords, you're definitely, we're definitely feel, um, dealing with a Libra here. King of Swords. The King of Swords needs to speak up and say something. But they're, st they're still in this Four of Swords energy, which is this rest and surrender. 
So this might be their energy coming through here where they really took a step back here and they are recuperating from something, okay? They lay their swords on the wall and they are not fighting anymore. But I feel like they wanna come in and, and communicate something. Yeah, there's a reunion. There, there's some type of getting, a getting together that wants to happen here. Yeah, there's some type of communication. This is fast communication, impulsive communication too. Yeah, communication, eight of wands, can't make it up. Some type of communication wants to come in, but I feel like they're kind of debilitated. They are tired. Let's get one more. Yeah, eight of wands wants to come out. They want to communicate. They want to come forward. But I feel like something is holding them back. So what is holding them back? Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Okay, King of Pentacles. Someone is maybe worried about their career, worried about their finances. Okay. Um, what are we dealing with here with this person? Let's take a look at their shadows for the middle of the week here. I feel like I'm gonna get some more information. What shadow sides are we dealing with? Misguided. Okay, so this Libra or this person, whoever it is, wow, okay, uses manipulate, manipulative ways, unfortunately. Ma Libras can be good at that. Sorry, guys. Manipulation came out, and that's one of their shadow sides, okay, because we are looking at the shadow sides. One of the challenges that they have is that they, instead of communicating clearly and from the heart, the King of Swords can't communicate really from the heart. You know, he's a bit cold. He works with logic and facts, which is not um, an ability that uh, we can always use in a relationship. Sometimes you have to speak from the heart, speak from emotions. But this person doesn't know how to do that because they're empty in emotions. Okay, they don't want to feel their emotions. They use manipulation in order to feel powerful. Okay, power. They use their power in the wrong ways. They're very foolish. Foolish. Misguided. Okay, they do not take the right paths. They, they don't make the right decisions. So this is what we're dealing with, guys. So what other messages want to come out here? What is this person's intention with my collective in the middle of the week? Okay, so divine timing. They feel like timing time is running out. Yeah, there's definitely connection here. The twin flame card came out. They want forgiveness. Understanding. Huh. They want to communicate, but they want to communicate with you and you, they want you to be in a place of, of forgiveness and understanding. Okay. Yeah, this is a twin flame or soulmate, whatever, whatever label this is. There is a connection here that is very strong. Communication. Someone here wants to communicate, but they, they, they feel like they need your forgiveness. Okay. And understanding. Um, let's go with the next few cards here for the yeah tarot. Let's go with the tarot for the end of the week. So what's gonna come out from this? Let's use another deck, guys. Since what other messages want to come out for the end of the week? Friday the weekend. Oh man, again, we got the Queen of Pentacles. Someone feels a lot of passion for this Queen of Pentacles. That might be you, Collective. We got the Queen of Pentacles again. It's a, a divine feminine energy here. It's a feminine energy. Someone still has feelings. Someone has a spark. But someone's walked away. Someone feels like... 
they walked away. King of Swords, again, we're dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. He's in. He's in this reading. He's all up in it. Might as well put him there. Um, what does this King of Swords want by the end of the week, please? What are his intentions? Ooh, the King of Swords is very heartbroken. Going through some heartbreak. He's still juggling. He's still trying to weigh things out. And that's a Libra. You know, Libras, a lot of air signs are very indecisive. They can't freaking decide. Yeah. Tarot. Tarot. Tower moment. <laughs> Maybe due to tarot. Uh, but yeah, this is destruction. This is something coming to a very painful end here. But it, it, it is divine intervention. This is the universe coming in and really shaking things up. Shaking you up. Shaking them up. To wake up. It's a wake up call. Maybe this person by going through this tower moment. Which is very painful right. We have the, set, the three of swords here. They've been through some pain. Maybe they'll be able to come and offer. And, and open up a little bit. With that page of cups. What can we expect from this person? This is someone who's battling something within them because the high priestess is all about hidden, hidden, hidden information. Five of wands. There's a struggle inside this person. What can, the, can, what can we expect this person or this energy? Yeah, there's a lot of defensiveness around them. They're very defensive. Seven of wands. You see how he's defensive? He doesn't want anyone to get through. They're defensive because they want things to work out. Six of Wands speaks of victory, success, public recognition. The Magician. They need to make a decision here. There's the Judgment car, card here. Final Judgment Call. Making a Judgment Call. But I feel like this person is calculating and wondering really taking their time here on how they're going to come in and manifest and come out here okay they're taking their sweet ass time knight of pentacles to make this decision it could be about the queen of wands aries sagittarius leo yeah they're sitting like this guys not opening up or maybe that's you you know, we're like that too. You know, we cannot be interested in this type of energy. But yeah, there is like this reunion in the air. Someone wants to get together and come back together. What else can we can we expect from this week, please? Yeah, okay. We're going to stop there. Judgment call here. Someone wants to come back. Someone needs to make a decision. They're just very indecisive this is all about in, not facing the truth about making a decision okay we're gonna get some what messages take action somebody wants to take action it's taking a lot from them they're recovering they're coming from this space of recovery recovering from disappointment but they want to take action Within the next few months. Okay. Within the next few months. I don't know how much time we have here. But months is kind of a lot. Wait. They're waiting. Waiting. But the universe is saying. Spirit is saying that there's something better. So please. Don't wait for this person. Because they're playing this waiting game. Um, for now. Things might change. But I'm telling you. These are the energies for this week guys. So please take the messages as they resonate. This week is not a good time to um, commit to someone, okay? We are retreating, yeah. There's some type of retreat, and it makes sense. Retreat is the hermit. We are retreating, we are going within, and maybe this is what this person is doing, okay? We are disconnecting from the world. Yes, we are moving to calmer waters, okay? So the honeymoon card for me in this uh, energy right now in this spread it's really speaking of you know rowing our boat to an in another direction playfulness 
You recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, getting to know each other. I feel like spirit is telling you to move towards someone or a, or a person or a new person that allows you to feel more lighthearted, okay? Allows you to really... Uh, experience that inner child within you okay that doesn't put so much stress on you it doesn't make you question what and where and when and why okay getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens when you don't reveal yourself to a person and if they don't reveal themselves to you this means that they are coming from a place of insecurity they're scared they are hiding things okay so the more we hide things the more we the less we can make a serious connection with someone okay now what did i want to do i wanted to give you some messages but something fell over here okay so let's start with we're going to start with the Twin Flame Messages Volume 2. See what they have to say. Honestly, the same messages have been coming up from one reading to another. So I'm getting kind of annoyed. Of, of, for me, they're all excuses. So you'll see. I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. Okay, so there's some form of regret here. Okay. I have a little part of you, I see a little part of you in everyone I meet. So basically, you, everyone's a, everyone is a constant reminder of you. Everyone that this person um, sees or meets reminds them of you. You are irreplaceable. That's what it is. You are irreplaceable. Of course you are. I'm working towards a better future. All right. Great. It's working. Or she's working. You're the only person who truly gets me. And maybe that's why this person is still attached to you. Because you were too good to them. I was reminded of your scent recently. Okay. Keep it coming. All right. So let's get some messages from this one. And hopefully they won't be the same. Hopefully their soul evolved in the last hour. You inspire me. Yes, that's what the Ace of Wands is all about, guys. This is inspiration. And Queen, you're the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But you don't have to be. You're just someone who is just, you know, a go-getter in, in the sense of, you know, she focuses on her job and what, what she has to do. You're an inspiration. You inspire me, yeah. That makes sense. What other messages? Yeah. My heart is telling me just do it. Yeah, you see, they want to come forward. They want to take action. They want to take action, but they're scared. Yeah, your words linger in my mind. Your words linger in my mind. And the last one, I'm a better person because of you. Okay, so this person knows your worth, but doesn't speak it, doesn't show it, and uh, this is a problem. Okay, so actions speak louder than words, patterns speak louder than words, and actions uh, has, you know, change been made. And I feel like I've been repeating myself, but I mean, this is the energy that we're pulling through, guys. We're pulling in in these types of um, readings because it's still lingering, you know. These are people that are still dealing with all these emotions and they're not coming forward. They want to. They want to take action, but they're still in this place of stagnation. So with that being said, I hope uh, these messages were insightful and helped you to clarify a few things. Please do reach out for a personal reading if you need some more uh, insight about your specific situation. Um, yeah, check out all my other videos. I uploaded one, like I said, about what's going on uh, astrologically, how relationships are being tested this week. If you are in a relationship uh, and if you're not, well, there's some energy. There's an energy there that's come, trying to come in uh, from the past. So dealing with karmic exes, karmic past relationships. 
um yeah check out my website and please follow me on instagram and facebook if you are new to my channel thank you subscribe and like i appreciate everybody who supports me and is um just constantly commenting and liking i just you guys are amazing have a great week